So I don't know who this Yahoo is that's following someone around. But fucking cars idling around here. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't think that that girl is my daughter. I'll show you a picture of what my daughter looks like. One of my pictures happened to disappear out of my wallet at some point in time. That's what she looked like. And then one day... She looked like that. Something happened one night. I made a mistake of trusting her with somebody I didn't know very well, apparently. Could be wrong. But I am a hopeless romantic, I guess. So, anyway, um... Something's very wrong here, but, um, I really don't like the trying to put the egg in the face thing because y'all know y'all have done some stupid shit. I got to say. being taken treated right. I haven't been for a long time. I don't feel there's any excuse for it. And I don't feel that because of what someone caused to happen to me and my ex. But that should ruin it for me and every other person in the world. I feel that my mom feels that I'm such a failure that she's embarrassed by me. She's got no mud. This is what her boyfriend would fucking try to teach me. Mud. Try to teach you mud. Say that was by far hands down the best experience was recently with uh well not that recently, this shit has been like three or four years. Oh what's her name? Oh what's her name? I know what her name is, I'm just not gonna say it. And last time I seen her, or at least I think it was her, I feel that something not right there. 
Um, the other thing I was going to say is that something's not right here, but it ain't, it ain't the way they make it out to be. It's not as far out as, I mean, some people are weird. Some people do things differently than others. There's a whole community on it, you know, based on But anyway, I'm stuck here in Morongo. It's like two miles to the bus stop. Three buses come. The fucking cops will take my car, which I just bought for 200 bucks. I'm not gonna find another one for 200 fucking bucks. It's so fucked up. Cops will take my truck. They'll take that thing. So now instead of fucking, I, I'm I'm gonna go for it. I think I really think I am. I'm gonna fucking just say fuck it. It's getting so close to where I'm not gonna be able to avoid the inevitable that I'm at least. Go out with the fucking, uh, a little fucking chutzpah. Because the older generation, older than mine, is just shitting all over my generation and thinking it's funny. They think it's real fucking funny. I'm not liking it. And I'm not gonna shit on the younger generation because they fucking think it's funny to shit on us. They aren't teaching us. They aren't fucking doing anything right, in my opinion. They aren't showing us any fucking proper, you know, way to be. They're just using us, milking us. It's my opinion. Therapy, but actually, I kind of think they tried to create this or make this to make me the way I am because it's what they wanted so they could use it. It's pretty sad, really. I mean, I got yelled at for the way I shopped today. <laughs> Not yelled at, but I got, you know. Somebody wanking. It's like. He didn't teach me how to cook. He didn't teach me nothing. I I think I, w I went to one spelling bee at, at the Christian school that I went to. One that I can remember. That's it. That I can remember. That's a Christian school. One spelling bee. And I failed miserably, but instead of, you know, trying to find out or get a tutor or anything, we just fucking... Ain't come out to school. So, whatever. I don't care. Supposedly, I'm what they call a uh, fucking. Um, what do they call it? Uh, I'm autistic. Because they're chicken shit. They don't say straight out what they fucking mean. They don't say, hey, you know what? Can you leave right now because we're busy or whatever. And they fucking call that autistic because I don't understand that you're just beating around the bush. Anyway. Love God. Bless you. Bless everyone. Have a blessed day. Mm, I seem kind of cynical, but... You should bless everyone and have a blessed day. Don't forget to worship God, whatever God it is that you feel is helping you achieve whatever you've got in life.